bijvoorbeeld Game of Thrones. Ja, dus jullie kennen ook Orsia. Ja, en Harry Potter. Nou, ja, het is hetzelfde idee weer. Hoe langer ik praat, hoe korter we de tijd hebben. Ga ik er gauw bij halen. Geef even een applaus voor Nathalie Tena. Of course. Have you ever been to the Netherlands, or is it the first? Yes. Yeah, I've um, I played here with my band. I've got a band from Molotov Jukebox, so I played um, I played with them here. And years and years ago, I I went when I was interrailing as well. I went to Amsterdam. Really? When I was 18. Yeah, I interrailed around there. And I also took my my boyfriend uh, for Christmas. I wanted to come here. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's a great city. L last Christmas? No, no, no. Like a while back. No. And, and Bob, he said the same thing as a uh, younger person. He also went to Amsterdam for the experience. How was it? How was Amsterdam? I loved it. I had, but I nearly died on your bikes because obviously I was drinking and it was a holiday, and I was like, Woo! And your bikes have a brake system with the with the with the. Brake. I don't understand. I nearly died so many times. The trams and yeah, chaos. Oh man, that was really good and really cool. Um, and of course, uh, you're now here at the Netherlands. Is this your first Comic Con, or uh, probably not? No, no, this is like, I mean, I, I, I've done so many now in my life. I started like a while back, so yeah. Really? Is this a regular thing, like every month for Con, or? No, 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 like it, it can be maybe two, three times a year, something like that. Oh, wow, that's the same. Uh, and I was curious, you played so many characters in your life. Which one is your favorite? Where should we start? Uh, I don't really have favorites. Um, I, usually the one I'm doing, so at the moment I'm filming something in Spain, yeah. and like whatever I'm doing is my favourite one. Really? Yeah. Because I saw you're a Spanish actress also. Yeah, I'm Spanish. You're Spanish? Yeah. Full Spanish? Well, yeah, both my parents are Spanish, but I was born in London, so... Oh, nice, yeah. You have a poco español, so... Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, I really saw, like, two years ago, you also did a comedy movie, uh, Te Quiero Imbecil? Yeah, Te Quiero Imbecil, yeah, yeah. yeah. Imbecil. Yeah, yeah. Well, that looks nice. I do do I can only read it. But uh, how, how is the switch for you? You've gone from English to Spanish. Uh, well, so I was, you know, at home we only spoke Spanish. Like my family are all Spanish, everyone's Spanish. But I was educated in English, so I find it harder to memorize lines. Just a little bit, like in English I find it very easy to learn lines. Um, I find it hard to know how to act them, but uh, you know, it's easy to learn them. But um, in Spanish it takes a bit longer. My brain isn't quite, you know. Yeah, it's like a uh, foreign language is Spanish then. It's not because it's kind of my mother tongue, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like I'm Spanish from the waist down, but I'm kind of, my, 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 my brain is a bit more English. Uh, did you profit uh, from your Spanish roots in any of the roles that you did? Did you? I have no idea, maybe. Yeah? <laughs> maybe. Maybe, maybe you got something sure. out of it. Um, and I also saw, uh, you were also a theatre kid. Uh, you are also a theatre kid, I saw. You did a some theatre? Theatre production. Yeah, 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 loads, yeah, yeah. Uh, will you ever go back to the theatre, or will you just stay into the movies? Um, no, I went back in 2019, before the pandemic. I, I was doing theatre as well. Um, I love it. The thing is, it's, a, it's, it's, it's quite hard uh, to do theatre, my music, and filming. I had to prioritise like two of them and I prioritized um, uh, my band and filming for a long time uh, but now I'm more open to doing theatre but it's really hard also when you do theatre they usually it's very badly paid um, it's, a, it's an amazing vocation it feels amazing but you have to have a bit of savings first to do theatre for a bit and also it's it's you know it's a bit like being a chef or like any people that work in, in entertainment you're never out when people are out, you know, you're always working, so you miss a lot, you know, you're, you're working Monday to Saturday, every, every night, you know, you're never out, so it's, it's kind of, it, it changes your life a little bit. But would you stop uh, the band or the filming for just one particular role in the theatre, or? No, 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 I mean, uh, well, when, you, when you take on theatre, you have a contract, so you're doing, you're doing only that, you can only do that. But maybe there's a dream role, like uh, Evita, or Wicked, or uh, I don't know. I have no idea, I don't know. Role. No. Let me see. Let me or something. No, no, no. I'm not that into musicals. No? I mean, I'm into some of them, but 
All right, all right. Um, and also, you did. Uh, would you do voiceover jobs? Yes. I have recently got a voiceover agent, actually. Really? Yeah. Like on Monday, I went to do my reel, which is a thing that you need to get. And it's like it has kind of different ways that you would speak. And so hopefully, I'm going to start doing some voiceover stuff because I think that's really. I've done a bit this um, in April. Yeah. Before I got my agent, I did a bit of it just randomly in Spain, and I was like, I really like this, and it's really fun because you can just concentrate only on on what your voice is doing. Yeah. That's it. You can just focus on that. And um, I've also done some animation, like years ago, to help some students. I I did an animation called Fish Witch, and it's really funny and silly and cute, and it's like a couple of minutes, and I had to be a, like this grumpy witch. It was really fun. But you are a fish witch. Witch. Yeah, fish witch. That's nice. And can we find it on YouTube or anything? Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> well, I found it the other day, I was like, oh, this. Oh man, look at that. Um, because what kind of roles do you want to do as a, with the voiceover then? I have no idea because it's a hot, it's new territory for me. All right. I really did like the animation though, that was very fun. Oh, so nice. maybe, but I'd quite like to do some sexy adverts, like food, that'd be quite good. Oh, oh nice, some food porn uh, just everywhere. Nice. Um, and one last thing about yourself, which I found. Uh, you're a, a big uh, museum fan, I saw your grand. Museum? Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. Uh, well, it's because I've been recently filming in Bilbao. Uh, so right. I've got some family in Bilbao. And the Guggenheim, if you haven't been, is amazing. It is an amazing sky ship of architecture. And it's just, even, even being like, for me, it's like, oof. Is the art more beautiful from the outside or inside? It's, it's a great building, so yeah. It's insane. And uh, which painting should they all watch or look out for in the movie oh, God. Um, well, there's always a movie exhibition. God, there was a woman that was really good. I'm kind of terrible at names. But there are some beautiful artists. I really like the guy that you walk in and there's just like... There's a room bigger than this and there's just like mad steel sculptures. Um, I think it's called t something about time. Basically, we're all going to die. I think it's what it's saying. <laughs> A very happy yeah, message. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, let's get to the big roles you've done in your life. Uh, because, of course, uh, Nymphomara Tongs, of Nymph Nymphodora Tongs, right? Quite, it's a complicated one, yeah. <laughs> How was it for you to play the Tongs? Yeah, it was great. I mean, it was so long ago now. Um, but, yeah, from what the bits are, that I remember from filming were fun. Yeah, that's uh, because um, everybody here, you all have seen Harry Potter, right? I guess <laughs> Because uh, before I spoil anything for anybody, because the ending, I was really there was the only moment in Harry Potter that made me cry. Seeing you, yeah, with you with Lupin, it was. No, I, I got I got really upset when um is it Dobby when he dies? I yes. thought that's the bit that made me most upset. Yeah. Yeah, because he was just an innocent, lovely thing, and it's like why is you know. But were you into Harry Potter yourself? Sorry? Were you into Harry Potter yourself? No, no not until I, I got the job. Before that I didn't understand what it was. or I, I thought it was a kid's book, I didn't really get it. And then I got into the world and I read all the books and I, I became a big fan. Well, who's your favourite character from Harry Potter? Uh, I like Bellatrix a lot. I like her a lot. I like um, Professor Trelawney. Am I saying this right? Emma Thompson's character. I love her kind of batshit, crazy, amazing, eccentric teacher. Well, but if you were to play one other character in the Harry Potter Wizarding Universe, or Wizarding World, sorry, uh, which one would you play? That one, definitely. Yeah, definitely. yeah, yeah. Not Bellatrix? I think, I think, uh, I mean, it's hard because Bellatrix is a villain and it's really fun playing villains. Yeah. So it de depends on the day. I I'd have to be asked on the day. Have you ever played a villain? Yes, yes, in John Wick, I'm a villain. Oh, really? I haven't seen it, so I, 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 no. I was going to ask some questions about it, no. but you were the villain in John Wick? Yeah, she's, she's not. I mean, she's the head of uh, the Roma, uh, like the matriarchal head of the Roma clan, and she wants to, you know, wreak revenge on vengeance because her father's been killed. She's uh, like, she's not a very nice person. Do you know what I mean? Like, she kills people. <laughs> <laughs> I would be shitting balls if I were standing face to face with John Wick. How is that for you? No, she she doesn't. She's uh, she's in control in the scene. Really? Uh, because how is it uh, filming with Keanu Reeves? Then? It was lovely. It was lovely. All the team are lovely. They all know each other. So it, that thing people always like, oh, it's like being in a family, but it really was because they all 
they've worked together a lot of times and there's a lot of love for each other and respect on sets, so it's great. So you are welcome to institute? 100%, like, big warm ups, especially by the director Chad. He was such a lovely man. Like, I got there and he, he wanted to show me all the studios, I got to meet the dogs. He, wanted, he was just really welcoming, which is, I was, I was a small character, so he didn't need to do that, but he took the time to do it. Nice. And this is the most violent movie you've ever done, right, John Wick? No, I can't. No, you don't? Uh, uh, no, I did Origin for YouTube, and I did a lot of fight scenes in that. Like, like a lot, because in, in John Wick 4 I don't do any fight scenes. So for me, Origin was much more, um, uh, that was more of a challenge for me. Do you like the fight scenes, making them? Uh, yeah, I 100% I like it. I like it, especially when there's time, because when things are rushed, that's when dangerous things can happen. Yeah. You know, you kind of want everything really, really practiced. It's like, sec like intimacy and sex scenes and fight scenes are very similar. You have to have like a, a good understanding of each other and respect with each other. And it, it, it's actually very similar. Yeah, there are boundaries. Uh... Yeah, and also like, is this okay? You know, uh, am I hurting you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really cool. Um, well, back to Harry Potter then. Uh, because I also heard, there's go uh, you probably also heard it, there's going to be a reboot on HBO. Yes, I heard, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there anybody uh, that could play the role of Tonks right now that you're like... God, I haven't even thought about that. I'm, I'm, sure, I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's many, 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 many people that could do it. Oh, oh uh, in fact, uh, would, would you do it again? If they were to... I'm too old for that. I'm too old for that shit now. Really? Tonks, Tonks is definitely like a younger... She's like meant to be like early 20s, there's no way. But I'd, I'd like to be a teacher. Maybe they can give me a job as a teacher now. Yeah, you would. That'd be quite cool. You would do a cameo if they were just... Yeah, yeah. I mean, I would definitely be a teacher if they asked me. But how, how is it for you, seeing uh, very soon, in like two or three years, somebody else play Tonks, the iconic character? I mean, look, I don't own Tonks. Like, Tonks is its own thing, you know? Like, it's a bit like, I mean, it's very, very different. But, you know, in theatre, there's, you know, let's say you're doing Shakespeare. No one owns being Desdemona or Othello. It's a book, you know, it's a, it's a story. Fair enough. Um, and then, of course, Game of Thrones. Orsha, how was it for you? Because getting cast as Orsha in uh, Game of Thrones. Um, well, at the time, I mean, for me, it was, I was really, really happy. Every time I get a job, I'm like, yes, I'm employed. Yes, I have purpose. Um, I'm going to have some money. Like, life is better. Um, and yeah, I love fantasy. But at the time, it wasn't like a, no one knew it was going to be massive. It, it, it happened. You know, it kind of switched, it rolled into just like, what is this massive thing? So I, I, I really like joining it at that time because I think it can be quite intimidating starting something when you already know it's quite big. Yeah. Well, I was just doing it, we were just having fun, and then it's like, oh god, everyone's watching this. <laughs> and how was, what, how was it shooting Game of Thrones? Hard, very hard, very cold. It was one of the, uh, I'm trying to think. I know I've had harder shoots, no, I, there's been a few like that, but it, it was, because the, the costumes were so authentic, <laughs> they didn't protect much against the, you know, Northern Irish rain and, and winter, and it was, re it was really cold, like there was, I really struck, like that was, I mean, every job, every job has a challenge, every single job you do has something else that you have to try and be, can I, can, can I get through this? Um, and for me, on Game of Thrones, it was, it was the weather. Yeah. It was just like, I mean, at the end of the day, I'd come home and it's like, like, I'd go, for, I'd go to a sauna, I'd go, there was a swimming pool, and I'd go for a sauna and a swim, and then I'd have a whiskey, and then I could feel my body. So it was like, it was intense. And it must be weird for you, just sitting at home, seeing yourself in the cold rain, freezing to <laughs> death, and then all the Lannisters in Spain, in the hall. Oh, I was so angry. I was like, because when my agent told me, she was like, yeah, they're going to film in like Spain, so maybe you get to see family in Croatia. And then I was like, I bet you, I bet you, I'm in just in Belfast, like that's going to be my lot. Not even Iceland, where you can at least see some of the landscape, you know? <laughs> Oh man, um, and of course, uh, you, uh, I mean, you played with Ramsey Bolton, one of the most vulgar people I've ever seen on screen. How was that for you? So, I'd already worked with him. The other show I was thinking about that I've also been called is a show called Residue. I, I don't think, it didn't, like, it didn't, loads of people didn't watch it, but I'd already worked with him, and he'd been my, my boyfriend. So we'd had a sex scene, and like had to play partners, and then I was like, oh, I'm, I'm back working with him, and it's like, oh, I'm gonna die. So I liked it, it's that kind of circle of life. Like, love, sex, death. <laughs> <laughs> love, sex, death. Um, and of course, with Bran Stark and Hodor, icons, 
how is it uh, working with those people walking around in the woods? That was I, I really liked them, very sweet, and I really liked it as well when when Ellie and Thomas joined our crew. It, it kind of bulked up a bit, and it was really lovely, and they were just really sweet kids. That's nice. Um, one final question, and then yeah. uh, for everybody in the audience, you can make a line again with your own question in front of the microphone. Then we'll get to your question. It can be about probably anything, or I guess. Uh, Ask anything. Anything. Um, but for now, one last question. I mean, looking at the big stuff you've, you've done in your work in the film, uh, movie world, almost everybody dies, of that or died. In what? Uh, in, in the work, like uh, Tongs died, Washa died. Yeah, I mean, I've died a lot of times. I think that's pretty normal for actors. We really? die a lot, yes. We have to live a lot. Aren't, aren't you afraid then when you read a script that I'm going to die again? or? No, because, I mean, real death is much scarier than the pretend death. Of course. <laughs> but, uh, they... Maybe it's for good preparation, you know? But how do you feel when you, re you read, uh, oh, alright, Osha's gonna die. I, look, I didn't want to die then. I, w I, wouldn't, I don't mind dying, but I, w I wish I got to the last season, you know, or a bit more. Like, I felt like I hadn't been working for ages, and then they were like, you're in for season six, but only for two weeks, and with Ramsay Bolton, I was like, fuck, I'm definitely dying. Oh, I'm definitely no. dying. Well, uh, one question about it. Have you seen season seven and eight of Game of Thrones, so what do you think about it? Eight, the last ones. Yeah, the last one. It's uh, the, a bit controversial. Oh yeah, yeah. So I loved the first four episodes. Yeah. Which is the last one, but the last, the last four didn't work for me. Yeah, they, they blew it. Mm. They blew it. The is last that one. You feel, yeah, is that how you feel? Yeah. All right. And why did they? Uh, why didn't you like him? I can't remember. I haven't watched them in ages. And actually, I was thinking about re-watching all the Game of Thrones games. I haven't done it since they came out. I only you know, watch it and that's it. I haven't done a marathon in ages, so maybe this winter I'll do a whole thing. Alright, that's nice. Great idea. Let's go to the first question. Hi. Hi. Um, if you could play in any movie you want, in what movie would you want to play? I mean, I'd really love to be a Bond villain. I think that'd be quite a cool uh, role. Um, that'd be quite fun. Uh, they're, they're filming a thing, uh, okay, there's an author called Hugh Howie, and he's written a book called Wool, and they're going to make that into a film, and I, I've been begging my agents since I read it years ago if I could be in it, but it didn't work in the end. I would love to, I would love to play Juliet in Wool. I recommend this book, it's great. Um, and maybe to be a queen, some sort of queen in something, you quite like that. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Are you a James Bond fan? Um, are you a James Bond fan? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I mean, some of the older ones but they're a bit dated, they're a bit misogynistic. You know, when you watch them back, you're like, Jesus. Um, right. But uh, as a concept, I like it. But who should be the new James Bond? Me? <laughs> really? Yeah, it could be a woman. No, no, no. Uh, it could be a woman. I have no idea. I have no idea. I don't know, I don't know how long they're going to take to do it and reboot it. Well, would you do it? Would you play James Bond? Uh, 100%. I'm joking. Yeah. Why not? Because 007 is a woman right now, right? Yeah, but so maybe it should be her. Maybe she should carry on. Because oh. they've already introduced her, haven't they? So maybe it can be like, well... That's pretty cool. Hi, I'm Tessa, and my question is, what's your favorite moment from Harry Potter? Sorry, say... I... What's your favorite moment from Harry Potter? My favorite moment from Harry Potter? <sighs> this is all the movies, right? Yes. the ball you know the ball when all the kids are, and it's like they're, they're just hitting adolescence and the hormones are starting to, to happen and it's kind of fizzly and exciting but awkward I, and there's the music you know I quite like that, that, that scene yes thank you thank you and how, how was that for you by the way uh, because you were older at the moment you were an adult working with so many kids I wasn't really working that much with them because I wasn't in the school if you think about it, like I kind of worked with the twins, a little bit with Dan, and that, but not not much. Like I wasn't there with the whole bunch of them, you know. All right. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Um, you played with Robert Pattinson in Bella Me and with Tom Felton in Origin. Did you get a chance to play guitar with him? To play? No, I did not. No, I did not. Why not? Um, I have no idea. Uh, I play. I, I mean, life. I mean, yeah. when, I, when, I, when, when it was Origin, I think Tom sometimes would walk around with the guitar playing a lot. Um, but yeah, I didn't. I don't know why. Good question. Please make a song with them. <laughs> well, I'll, see, I'll see if they will. If they don't, I see them. Well, who's your favourite musician of all time, then? I have no idea. I mean, I love Etta Jane. She's pretty cool. Yeah? Hello. Hi. Hey. Hey. Um, I'm Leanne. I you look amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I just want to say, uh, Harry Potter is a very big thing for me. I grew up with it. It means so much to me and Tom's, I'm a Hufflepuff myself, 
So Songs is absolutely my favourite, uh, just because like she was always a bit quirky and not really normal, and that's how I always felt. I just want to ask you, what was your favourite scene as Songs to shoot? Um, being on a broomstick. Loved it. Loved it. It was such a surreal thing. It was again a massive room like this, but all green. And I was on a broom that they'd done a plaster cast of the first day of my arse. So it fit perfectly because I think before Order of the Phoenix, I don't know what the moment, but I think the kids really suffered because it wasn't comfortable being up there. So by the time I got there, they, they found a solution which was like a perfectly wooden shaped thing for your bum. And I really liked it. And you were really high up and it was moving like, like being on, you know, like a ride. And then these like hot men like blowing air at me, and I was like, "This is mental." So I quite like that. Okay, thank you. Is it is it easy to act uh, to act along with a green screen in front of you, or is it harder? Because you have a lot of props, you have the wind in your hair, but you can't yeah, see. I mean, anything. it kind of helps. So uh, sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's not. It depends on what you they're trying to do. I mean, my my bits were relatively easy, so I don't. I'm not like an expert. I wouldn't be able to tell you overall, but. Um, yeah, I mean, it's quite funny pretending a tennis ball is Harry. Like, what am I doing? Hi. Hi. Uh, my name is Lili Uh I have two questions, a um, dark one and a fun one. <laughs> um, the dark one is, um, I have tumors that there's no treatment for. If you had that, what would your... Say that again. I have tumors that there's no treatment for. Fuck. Um. Yeah. <laughs> so, if you had something like that, what would your main focus in life become? That's a fucking good question. Um, I, I mean, I think what I do more is, I would, so a lot of my life is like trying to get jobs, make sure I've got enough money, security. I think when, when it's that, it's like, fuck it, I'm just, I mean, I already love life, but I would go even more. I'd be like, I, you know what, I've always said I want to go to Vietnam, and I still haven't done it. I would get on a plane to Vietnam. I would spend more quality time with my family, my friends, and my dog. Like, I would, I would travel with all of them, and I'd be like, let's go on trips and see beautiful things in this world, and eat and drink everything. And pay for your artists that come with home. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, uh, uh, no, no, just uh, maybe not so much the body. What is mental is this 15 year old kid came up to me and came to the desk and he didn't want an autograph. He wanted me to sign his arm and I was like, okay, whatever. And I signed it and then he came back that afternoon and he tattooed. And no, and I was like, what the fuck? Your mother is going to kill me. Like, what are you doing? I'm not, I'm no one. Like, you're mental. That's so awesome. now, now I try not. I have signed one other person's body because they already had so many other names, it didn't matter. But I'm now like, especially if they're kids, I'm not, I'm not doing that. You're gonna regret this. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Good luck, enjoy life. Yeah. Me too. Thanks, Scott. And so you don't sign body parts anymore then? No, I mean, unless, like, unless, unless it's like someone like that person who, yeah. who had loads, because I don't think, I sh you don't want, I, I think it also depends, if they're like, someone my age, like I'm 38, and they're like, oh, fine. But if they look like a kid, and like, uh, you know, how old are you? Are you under 21? Absolutely not. Like, <laughs> so you're really traumatized by this one kid. Yeah, because it's like, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, I could just see his poor parents. Anyway. Well, I, I suppose we can, like, do over it, you know? Hi, my name is Fleur, and Fleur. <laughs> I'm a big fan of you. And what, I just wonder, what's your favorite spell from Harry Potter? So I like Incendio. Me too. Because um, I live on a boat, a canal boat, like the ones you guys have in London, in London. And um, in the winter, it's a fucking mission. It's such a mission to get the fire going. Like, it, once it started, it's fine. But like, if I go away two days, I have to do it again, and the boat is freezing. And I would love to just be able to go and send the and it would be done. Oh, oh, amazing. Did you have a? Did you still have the one from Harry Potter? I never got to keep it. Oh, that's I really every every actor wanted to steal it, but they had so they had these they had like wand experts. I want to say, I don't know, uh, uh, like the, who who would make them, but they would be on set with them, and so you would do the scene, you'd rehearse the scene with the 
kind of prop wand and only for the tape would they they'd come and give it to you and as soon as they said cut they would run and grab it i think they were worried about all the actors seeing them like honestly <laughs> Thank you for your question. Have a nice day here. Thank you. Thank you. But didn't you steal any frame from set? Underwear. I, I stole underwear. Because they gave me some underwear. I, I really wanted to take stuff, but it was impossible. It was like, yeah. I mean, the wand is the one that everyone wanted. Of course. And also, I picked my own wand. Really? I, I think they maybe did this, but like the, 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 the wardrobe process, it, ugh, I had so many fittings because they had to get it right. And then with the wands, I got given three and I had to pick one. So I actually felt like I was in all of others' shop. Really? Like, so oh. Basically, one guy walks up to you, got like 20 ones. No, there was like three or four. I was, like that, and I was like, nah, which one? And I touched all of them, and that one, I was like, that's the one. Oh, sorry, sorry. Hi, I'm Sam, and with so much of Comic Con being about dressing up, I was wondering what would you dress up as, and what do you think Tom's would dress up as? I mean, I dress up as a lot of things. Like, I've done, I go to a lot of festivals, a lot of music festivals, my bands. Like, I have dressed up as, as an idiot many, 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 many times. I've been Marie Antoinette, I've been various animals. Um, I'd, you know what? I'd quite like to be Ursula from The Little Mermaid. I love The Little Mermaid. I'm so happy they've made a remake. I can't wait to watch it on Disney. Um, so her. And the older I get, the more I empathise with Ursula. I think she's really cool. Is Ursula your favourite villain of all time also then? Again? Is Ursula also your favourite villain then? One of them. I mean, there's so many good villains. I can't, I can't pick just one. Because I really sense you really want to play a villain one day. Yes, more of it. More, more villains. More villains. I've always been so, so good. I'm like, I'm giving some, some horror. <laughs> no, no worries. Hi, I'm Sky. Um, so, when you were on set of Harry Potter, they were talking about Tonks as Nymphadora. Would you like get angry as well? No, 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 no. <laughs> Although, but I did, what, well, at the time when I started, because I think I started when I was like 21, 22, and I really hated it when people called me Natalia, or Natalie. I hate, I, I hated it, and I, I was like, my name is Nat, can you please call me Nat? So I could understand <laughs> her hatred of that name as well, I, so I kind of channeled that. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, you look great. I don't know what this is. Thank you. Hi, um, I'm Shema, and my question is about um, Death and Hallows, the final battle of Hogwarts. Um, how did it feel to um, film such chaotic fights? I didn't, I didn't do any fighting. So, I, I, weirdly, because I was only... Like, I think my character just turns up and me and Lupin have a moment of like, what are you doing here? So actually, I missed out on all of that. I only had one little scene and actually it was just me and him on set. So that, we did that and then, and then when there was the big um, scene where you realise one of the twins has died, I was dead in the corner. I had to spend all day lying on the floor. <laughs> so I, I had it quite easy compared to some of the actors. Thank you and good luck with your voice acting. Thank you. so many hair colours in my life. Um, I love I love red. I think red is a good one because blue and green washes out and you end up looking like a weird lake it's a, or a bit sick. So red is a good colour I think for hair. Like bright red. Thank you. Thank you. And was it, it wasn't your own hair right? It was a wig all the time. Yeah they had to do a wig because obviously they're going to change it so much. So exactly. Yeah they could yeah. Yeah right just to be sure. Hello. Hiya. Scene short in Harry Potter because you really wanted to dye your hair bubblegum pink. And what was it like to be a Twi'lek, a pink one, in the Mandalorian later? Was it a bit of a revenge? Um, no, I wasn't fuming. I, I, because they explained it to me. I don't know where that came from. So, um, so because Umbridge, because Umbridge was um, pink, they wanted to have a different thing. You know what I mean? Uh, but they had like actually quite a lot of different hairstyles for Tonks that I would have loved. Even if it was purple, they had some really cool, like the, one of the first looks that they had was like a bit of a pixie like look, yeah. um, and like here a bit messy, but also like bits of like plaits and like uh, charms and stuff. And I was like, ah, oh, I wish they'd done that. That could have been cool. 
Vicious teeth, and you know, it's quite fun playing those again, a bit of a villain. Thank you, you. thank you, you well, too. We haven't talked about Star Wars because did you meet Baby Yoda? Who? Uh, did you meet Baby Yoda, Grogu, in the Star Wars? Uh, right, you, you played oh, it, sorry, in, it's, in Star Wars, Baby yes, Yoda. Yes, sorry, I was like, no, no worries, no worries. No worries. But have you seen Baby Yoda on set just floating around or anything? No, they, I like it kind of like um, matronic thing. Like, and they would they would have a standard, so they basically had like a kind of fluffy thing, and then they'd have the real one that move. Um, they bring it a bit, a bit like the wand. Like it was very delicate. Anyway, sorry. There's no worries. Um, I have two questions. One for the and one just for fun. Okay. Um, what do you think of the new Harry Potter series that is coming on HBO? do it. I think, I mean, um, I think it might be, you know, it makes me think of the kids they're going to pick. Because obviously everyone knows, you know, the original. I imagine that might be quite scary for the kids, but I hope that they can be persuaded to not worry about it because it's a different story. And my second one is, who was your favourite co-star from the Harry Potter? Co-star? Oh, um, Lupin. I hung out with him the most. So my husband was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Because the chemistry between you and Lupin was real, right? Uh, yeah, we had a lot of fun, yeah. yeah. Hi! Oh, it's John Wick. No way. Hi! Hi. Oh, oh, no worries. You look breathtaking. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Four hours sleep and travel a lot. So my question is, from uh, John Wick, obviously. Yes! Could you give us uh, a memorable moment when you were playing a badass bitch? Um, I think... <sighs> I mean, for me, for me, what I remember the most was the first day because they stopped, they did it in order. So I had to come in and speak Russian, which I don't speak, um, to everyone, and, and it was it was quite intimidating. But then I was like, no, this woman is full of status and power, and I really enjoyed like actually being able to manage my panic <laughs> um, using the character. So maybe that. Thank cool. You. I hope you have a great time at uh, Dutch Comic Con. Could you speak a bit Russian now? Like one sentence that you did? Uh, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I believe it immediately. Hey. Hi. Um, if you could choose your own Patronus, what would it be and why? My own Patronus? Yes. Um, a raccoon? Because they're like, a bit manky and eat out of bins. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you have like a big costume on. How long did it take uh, to put the makeup and the costume on? Mine? Yes. No. I loved it because of that. So, you know, while I was saying I hated the rain and the weather, mm -hmm. I loved, even though my costume wasn't very protective, I loved it. It was so comfortable. It, it was just like, I looked like a medieval bag lady. Like, it was just a bit of rope, and then like, they would back comb my hair a bit and put some dirt, and I was done. It yeah. was so quick, and really comfortable, and fun. That's nice. Thank, Thank you so much. And a, a quick message, because we only have like a few minutes left, so I'm, I'm not sure we can do everybody in the line, but we can try as many. You can try. And you have a question uh, for the audience. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's your favorite Hogwarts house? Um, it depends what time of the month it is. So at the moment, I would say... I, I'm, I'm Hufflepuff at the moment, yeah. Have you, ever got, have you ever taken the quiz? Yeah, and I, in the quiz I'm definitely have a bump. Apparently. But I'm going to try it again, because I think as you get older and you're at different points of your life, I bet you'd be different ones. I, I'm not sure. Hello. You look amazing as well. Thank you. Um, I, I've been a Harry Potter fan for my whole life, and my question was, what is your favourite Hogwarts student? What, sorry? What is your favourite Hogwarts student? Hogwarts. Hogwarts student. Student? So, student. Hogwarts student. Hermione because she knows the actual answers to stuff. I mean obviously like she's actually she's focused, she's dedicated, that's the kind of student you want, right? Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Um I'm trying to become a voice actor, actually. Yeah. I'm do you have any tips, please? No, I mean I I was I, I met my voice agent. Like, 
before I met her, I tried, I'd approached loads of, I'd, I'd approached like two or three, not loads, like a few um, um, voice agents, and they all turned me down. But I met her at the John Wick premiere. She's an amazing woman, her name's Emma. Emma Harvey, she's awesome. And she just liked the sound of my voice. So I, I was just lucky. I, I don't have any tips, I'm sorry. Thank Good luck, keep way. going. Wow, look at this outfit. If you can choose any character of Game of Thrones, which one will, would you want to play? Well, for me to play, uh, I mean... Uh, I don't know. I, you know what, I'd quite like to be as one of the sad, like, in, the, in Dawn. Like, I'd li I like that family. Uh, like, I, it feels like that's what Spain is in, in the world of Game of Thrones. They've got good wine, they've got really fun weather, it's very beautiful. You know, I think that universe. But you could also pick Cersei. Cersei is also in Spain. Well, yeah. family. I think I like them. You know, I like their vibe. Uh -huh. Hi, um, I'm, I've been a Harry Potter fan for all my life, <laughs> okay. and I'm so glad you've come to the Netherlands. And I would like to ask you, uh, would you like some Stroop waffles? What? Stroop waffles. It's a Dutch delicacy. It's a Dutch a waffle? delicacy. Waffle? Yes. And right now I'm not hungry, but if you, if you have money? I've got it for you. Oh, I've got it. I've got it. Oh, wait, and, and in fact, we can give you whatever this is. <laughs> I actually don't know what this is. Like, I don't know what this is that I'm giving you. Yeah. There you go. Oh my god, I love those. They are amazing. I thought you meant a hot waffle. I was like, wow, I'm really hot. Thank you. I really like these. They're amazing. Oh, can I do Hey. Oh, you want to do a... Yeah. Do you want it in Dutch and English, or English? Uh, but either. Either. All right, because... So guys, it's one of, my, one of my really good friend's birthday, and I was wondering if you could all help me sing her happy birthday. Yeah? Okay. Wait, let me just... But do you want it in Dutch or English? Because you can decide whatever you want. We'll just do English I think then. it's more interesting if it's, like, random. Uh, her name... Who knows? Maybe in German. Her name or German. Any language, wherever you come from. Her name is Soraya. Okay, Soraya, okay? Ready? Happy birthday! Very sad, so that's cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's one hell of a gift. <laughs> yeah. oh, sorry, oh, sorry. The last question. Yeah, uh, if you could play any character at all, which one would you play? I have no idea. Uh, one, one that's in like a lot of books, so I can I can play them for a long period of time. <laughs> well, thank you, um, and thank you, of course, for being here. Thanks, guys. Give it up. For Uh, they can find you right at the stand. If you want an autograph, if you want a picture, if you just want to hang out, she's right there the whole day. Um, go to the left. And uh, for the mensen hier, blijf ook vooral zitten. We gaan zo meteen verder met het hoofdpodiumprogramma. Thanks again, Natalia. Um, so stay here. We'll be right back.